Kylie Jenner spends New Year's Eve alone, so where in the world was Travis Scott? Hopefully staying out of trouble, and Logan Paul uploads a crazy, insensitive video and gets major backlash for I it. am shaking my head so hard, and you guys, Justin and Selena go loco for each other on New Year's Eve. We're about to tell you what they did to celebrate the new year right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind 2018 edition. Happy New Year everyone, I'm Madison Conklin. I'm Devin Howard. All right, so we have a lot to jump into. Of course, all the New Year's Eve plans, but we're gonna mainly focus on two couples. First and foremost, it's Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott. She is very pregnant, reportedly, but we know she hasn't been on social media. She's super pregnant, she's supposed to be due in February, so that's a month from now. Um, she and Travis have been on a roller coaster of a relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, one day they're together, the next they're broken up, whatever. They were spotted at Chris's, uh, Chris Jenner's Christmas Eve party, but then on New Year's Eve, Kylie was alone, yeah. and Travis was in Miami at Live Nightclub. So, what's going on here? First and foremost, he's in Miami partying. Yeah. She's at home alone. What are your thoughts? I feel sorry for Kylie because uh, nobody wants to be alone on New Year's Eve, especially when you're pregnant and you're probably feeling very anxious about it. We've reported before that she's feeling especially nervous about, mm -hmm. you know, her upcoming due date and to know that her baby daddy is just out partying on the other side of the, the country, rough, very yeah, rough. Very rough. Now, to Travis's defense, he was performing at Live Nightclub and Kylie kind of didn't have to worry too much because she had an entire girl squad there to keep full watch on <laughs> Travis. Justine Skye, Stassi Baby, Haley Baldwin, they were all there to keep an eye on him. Now, was, was this premeditated? Was it planned? Is it just a coincidence? I'm gonna say my gut tells me that it was probably premeditated and planned. Like, really? Yeah, like, oh, you guys, well, you know, he's gonna be performing out there. I can't travel because I'm, you know, nearly nine months pregnant. Like, why don't you guys go down and see what's going on? Huh, interesting. I feel like that that's not a good sign for Kylie and Travis's relationship if it was a premeditated thing, but also if it was premeditated, Kylie has some really good friends who would fly to Miami. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, and they get to party at Live Night Club, so I would. I'd be It'd like, be yeah, Kylie, on your dime. I'm sure they all have money to go buy that. So. <laughs> Anyways, while well, Kylie and Travis are having some trouble in paradise, things are quite the opposite for Jelena. Thank the Lord, and we are living for it. More on that in just a second, but first, you guys, we've got to talk about Logan Paul's latest vlog. Mm. <sighs> okay, when I had to write this story this morning, I was seriously just like so disturbed and disgusted by him. He was yeah. recently in Japan and went to what they call the suicide forest. It's in the name. Um, so he's vlogging the whole thing and they come across a body hanging from a tree. Oh. Someone had committed suicide. And he videotaped the body and they're like narrating it like, What's going on? Is that a body? Oh my God, we found, you know, we found yeah. a dead body in uh, Suicide Forest. And then he uploaded this vlog to YouTube and then obviously took it down immediately and is facing major backlash from yeah. so, so many celebrities. But one we love to talk about is Sophie Turner, who we know is mm -hmm. very outspoken. She is. She's come to Finn Wolfhard's defense, the Stranger Thing Kids defense. Like, she speaks out on Twitter when she has something to say. Yeah. And she said, quote, Logan Paul, you're an idiot. You're not raising awareness. You're mocking. I can't believe how self-praising your quote-unquote apology is. You don't deserve the success views you have. I pray to God you never have to experience anything like that man did. Yeah. I thought I thought her her response to him was really powerful. Yeah. It wasn't long. It wasn't you know like she just said everything that she needed to say. Everything that and I it was wasn't thinking. even yeah. And it wasn't even like you know you're a crappy human being. Yeah yeah you're an idiot. But that's the truth you know. And it yeah. was just based off you know like a good solid factual opinion I want to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And what was also interesting, I mean, like I said, tons of people um, spoke out about it, but also fellow YouTuber PewDiePie also sounded off on Logan's video. He issued an apology on Twitter, and today he actually just uploaded a video apologizing mm -hmm. to the camera. Um, but his Twitter apology, here are some snippets, say, quote, this is a first for me. I've never faced criticism like this before. I didn't do it for views. I get views. I did it because I thought I could make a positive ripple on the internet. I love everyone. I believe in everyone. I'm out here. Peace. I did feel like it was very self-praising. And then he, did the, um, then he did the emoji. So it's not like peace, like peace and love. It's like peace, all yeah, right, like, I'm, I'm out. out. Like, I apologize, yeah. see you never. 
Mm, I know. I just, it's so distasteful. And even I watched the vlog, the vlog apologizing and I don't know if it's the most sincere thing. Like, mm -mm. good, he's following up with a video to, and he's very well spoken, but Logan Paul, Jake Paul, you guys, you just, you rile me up. Don't, don't yeah. really care for you guys. Get your act together. You know who riles <laughs> me up is Jelena, of course. <laughs> and did they hang out over the holidays? Christmas, we weren't very sure. We didn't think so because Selena with her family in Texas, they don't like Justin very much. Yeah. I'm um, pretty sure they did not, but Selena rented a villa in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and um, brought a bunch of her girlfriends down there to celebrate New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Now, Bieber was nowhere in sight in Cabo days leading up to New Year's Eve. So, I mean, what, do you, what does that tell you right there? I mean, I was sure they were gonna be spending New Year's Eve together, so when I thought that they might not have been together, I was like, oh my God, please don't break up. Is this up. breaking up? <laughs> yeah, like starting off the year with a breakup. Well, luckily for us and yes. for you Jelena shippers, <laughs> he did end up going there. Um, a fan account for Jelena posted this fit, uh, photo, sorry, video. Video. Photo. Um, the top one is taken from Justin's Instagram story, and the bottom pictures are from Selena and her friend's Instagram stories in the same Villa and a source told E! News, quote, Justin flew into Cabo on a private jet from Cancun where he spent a few days with his family. Maybe that's where he was on Christmas. Mm -hmm. He arrived on Saturday evening and checked into an oceanfront villa 10 minutes away from Selena's villa. Aww. He and Selena spent time together again. They were very low key and dressed casually. They rang in the new year together and enjoyed watching fireworks over the ocean. How romantic. Oh, perfect night. <laughs> and 10 minutes away, how convenient. I know, I like that they both spent the, some holidays of the holidays with their families and then some with each other. I of think course. they seem really balanced. They exact, girl, yeah. take the words right out of our mouth. They seem <laughs> to have balance now and it seems to be going well. So luckily, hopefully, I'm wishing and praying that 2018 is very good to Jelena. Yeah. Um, Kylie, best of luck with everything. And mm -hmm. then Logan Paul, you guys, what do you think about this vlog? Did you see it before it was taken down? What do you think of his apology? Comment down about all this stuff below. Subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you here tomorrow for Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Bye.